you think that we are screwed, that climate chaos is inevitable and nothing can be done, think again. This is the story of the Climate Nine. Nine everyday people sick of the aviation industries, ignoring communities affected by their pollution and who took action to make a difference and to challenge the law. Meet Johnny, Jimmy, Kate, Josie, Mila, Bill, Mark, Tilly, and my name is Dan. Can you tell me your full name, please? Yeah, it's William. Where's your full name, please? Yeah, it's Amelia. Full name, please. Uh, your full name, please. James. Your full name to start with, please. Uh, Dan. Full name, please. It's all good. Famous 0836 hours. That's all the protesters removed from the fence. OK, site. thank you. I was brought up in London under three flight paths and now I live in Glasgow. It is not easy, but anything worth doing never is. Scotland and the UK government have seemingly grand climate change policies, but what we need is action. Time is 6.11 hours on 3rd of March 2009. It's been deployed at Aberdeen Airport in relation to protesters that have reached security at the airport. You can see within Fenton seven protesters, five are locked on with key locks around their neck to the fence posts, playing stupid golf open 2009. It's obviously a reference to the proposed Donald Trump golf course. In Aberdeen. We targeted the aviation industry and industries pushing unhealthy expansion. We occupied the Aberdeen Airport taxiway for five hours, were arrested, and which led to the first jury led climate change trial in Scotland. When systems fail you, don't fail yourself. The climate change group played stupid want an end to airport expansion. The action was taken today, the direct action, to prevent thousands of tonnes of carbon being released into our atmosphere. And it was successful in that it stopped flights for a number of hours and did actually directly stop the atmosphere being harmed by carbon. Taking the fight from the court of the public to the court of the law was always part of the plan to show how our actions can make a big difference. So, who are the real climate criminals? Our intention is not to cause fear and alarm. It was a peaceful protest. What we are concerned about is the fear and alarm being caused to communities all over the world by continued runaway climate change, by airport expansion plans, by coal-fired power station plans, which are polluting the environment, which are committing people to living in drought and famine in the global south, to living with air pollution here. Climate change is the most serious issue of our generation. Take an inside look at our archive, at footage collected over two and a half years, from the action to the appeal. It was one phone which was recording locally, um, which was in one pocket. Um, another phone which was um, being phoned on Skype and was being recorded live by people um, on a computer, which was in another pocket. I think uh, it's really obvious that direct action is not only a valid, but a, a necessary and actually an urgent tactic um, in the fight against climate change. Because the consequence is really apocalyptic, you know, once you've looked into it a bit, it's like really nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. You know, if we fail to tackle climate change, then we failed in everything. See the footage playing stupid films whilst the action was happening. Hear about our story from those involved, from the lawyers, all 27 of them, the media circus, the scientists, the supporters, and even our mums. At the root of plain stupid and climate activism are real problems of social injustice, a war without bullets that we can no longer ignore. Don't struggle alone. Here are our experiences we hope helps you, your community and your struggle. Watch the videos, share your stories, get in touch. This is Dan from The Climate Nine. See you soon.